today we are going to discuss discrete probability distribution before going to discuss that one we are going to discuss what is meant by random variable so when two coins are tossed the sample space consists of four elements the first one is both are heads the second pair is both are tails the third one is the head comma tail and the fourth pair is tail comma head okay now i am going to define x as the number of heads in the pair x as the number of heads in the pair so let us consider this sample space okay x of s so x is a random variable and s is the sample space then x what it will do it counts the number of heads in each pair so the first pair has the two heads therefore we have to get the as the two okay the second pair has zero heads therefore you have to get it as zero the third pair has only one head only one head therefore you have to get it one the fourth pair also has one head therefore one only already I have written in the set notation okay i will give one more example to get to know what is meant by random variable when two dice are thrown the sample space consists of the 36 elements starting with 1 1 1 2 so on up to 6 comma 6 okay now i am going to define the random variable x as maximum of the ordered pair a comma b okay x is defining it as the maximum of the ordered pair a comma b here how we have defined in the previous example x is defined as the number of heads in the pair here is the maximum of the ordered pair okay then x of s this is, is the sample space so how we have to get it as the in the first ordered pair the maximum number is one therefore you are going to get it as one in the second ordered pair what is the maximum number two the next one it is three next one it is four next one it is five next one it is six so you are going to get two three four five six like this so if you consider the second row two one that is a maximum number is two already we have written and the in this uh, ordered pair the maximum number is six already we have written the set notation here in this one six comma six maximum number is six that i also i have written therefore this is the way to remember the random variable i will give one more example here i am defining it the random variable as sum of the numbers in the ordered pair sum of the numbers in the ordered pair so therefore x of s becomes how sum of the ordered pairs 1 plus 1 so first you have to write 2 here you are going to get 3 4 5 6 7 similarly you are going to get 8 9 10 11 12 6 plus 6 12 so starting with 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so this random variable x will be defined like this okay next these random variables are divided into two types one is the discrete random variables and the second one is continuous random variables so discrete means you have to always remember as integers integers so let us consider your marks generally marks will be considered as rounded to the integers 5 6 10 15 25 like this so if it is this case that is comes under the discrete random variable okay suppose if you consider the temperature height weight 
this temperature height will never be an integer it may be 5.538 5.38 feet height so otherwise 20.6 kg 25.7 kg like this therefore 5 feet less than or equal to x less than or equal to 6.5 feet so that's why if you come across with this examples then the problems comes under the continuous random variable if it is rounded to the integer discrete if it is not rounded to the integer other than these integers it comes under the continuous random variable okay random variables are divided into discrete and continuous discrete means integer continuous means non integer okay so what is meant by discrete probability distribution now we have studied about the random variable already we have studied the probabilities so x is the random variable so 0 1 2 like that already has given the table x and their probabilities okay for x is equal to 0 the probability is 4 1 by 4 for x is equal to 1 the probability is half for x is equal to 2 the probability is 1 by 4 here x is the possible value is already has given and the probability has given this you call it as the probability distribution only okay x random where possible values along with their probabilities is called a probability distribution if this probability distribution satisfies probable two conditions what is that means this all these values should be greater than or equal to zero all the probabilities should be greater than or equal to zero and the second condition sum of the probabilities should be equal to 1 sum of the probabilities equal to 1 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 equal to 1 then we call it as a discrete probability distribution okay for this one the mean is formula is sigma pa into x probability into the x okay this is about the discrete probability distribution okay